you decide to give, to give one child a egg per day, a egg per day, a egg per day. Viewers and subscribers, you're welcome back again. This is BVI Channel 1, where we tell you raw, unadulterated gospel truth without sentiment. And as the voice of the people, the Archbishop Good Governance Ministry, ensuring that the people sees beyond their nose before they take a step, especially in deciding who becomes the Nigerian next president or occupying any political office. The man Tinubu, who is this man? And what is his placement on education? I mean, the value he places on education. I want you to listen to him. If you decide to give, to give one child a egg per day, a egg per day, a egg per day in school, from primary one to six, or what is primary now? So you do that. You had him at that point when he said, "A egg, wonderful." I know some of you will say, "Oh, that doesn't matter, matter to anything. It's it's not our language after all. English is not our language." I agree with you, honestly speaking. English is not our language. I would have preferred him to be addressing Nigerians in in Yoruba language and have an interpreter. Just like you see in other developed countries like China and non-English speaking countries. After all, it is just a language. It doesn't amount to intelligence. Fine. But now let us look at this man value placement on education. As a governor for eight years, eight good years, what investment has he done on education? In Lagos State. That is the question. The other time I published a video of young children who were singing Nigerian National Anthem, now that one paid me pass, inside a swamp. You all saw it. You all saw it. It happened in Lagos State while this same man was a governor for eight good years. Even after being a governor, what placement has he had on education in investing on the young minds on primary education? It's all about politics, politics, politics. Well, we have a choice to make come 2023 because the biggest disaster that will befall you as a nigerian is Tinubu becoming your president like i said you have a choice to make it is not about ethnicity or your religious affiliation it is about the future of your own children your own children we have a choice to make because these politicians have destroyed the educational system in Nigeria. It's not just about Tinubu, but all these recycled old politicians that have not invested in the educational system in Nigeria. That's why they take all their children abroad to study. While you, you amount to nothing, even with your so-called certificate as a graduate. They said it. Oh, Nigerian graduates are unemployable. And that is true. Because we go to school, we study things, 
that do not solve problem in our immediate environment. And even when we do study things that are relevant, you don't have any opportunity. That's why people run away from this country in droves. You need to be part of this revolution that will make a change. I'm bringing a man that have invested heavily in education as a governor. He brought his state from about 26 position to number one position. It is not a magic. Convinced that the loss of treasured values and discipline was as a result of government taking over missionary schools, the OB administration returned 1,040 schools to the Catholic and Anglican missions. He also disbursed funds to each of the institutions for them to, on their own, upgrade their facilities for a better standard of education. Going around the schools, one can see the huge improvements in the facilities and amenities in these institutions. The OB administration has also impacted positively on tertiary institutions. The Anambra State University, now called Chukwe Meka Udumegu University in its Igbariam campus, has benefited from this administration as some of the faculties now have new blocks. The Faculty of Law, Agriculture and the Department of Mass Communications. Not left out are some new quarters to house lecturers. The OB administration has facilitated two new hostels being built by the Central Bank of Nigeria. And recently, he doled out 5 billion naira to the institution for continued infrastructural development. This is the College of Agriculture, fitted with new classroom blocks, new laboratories, new male and female hostels, and the renovation has just started. You have a man as a governor that have improved on education, not just in his state, but across Nigeria, even as after he have left office and beyond Nigerian borders. He placed so much value on education because he understands that a country that a deficit when it comes to education can never progress. And that is the reason why Nigeria have always been on a backward trend. I'm just here to open up your eyes for you to understand the choice before you. Nigeria is in labor and it will deliver next year. Trust me, the outcome depends on you. That's why it is very important you join this revolution that each time is here. That is all I can tell you. If you believe in this message, keep sharing it. Keep sentiment and the emotion, ethnic bigotry and religious affiliation aside. And let us together as a people who have been victims of failed system in Nigeria, together save the future of the Nigerian youths and the Nigerian children. I'm signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Drop your comments. I want to have your opinion. Share this video to everyone. I'm just a voice. I've delivered the message. Bye-bye for now.